All right, and I'm super stoked to play Korma tonight. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a let's play thing. We'll go ahead and start with uh, auto save on since that's a thing now. And we'll, we'll kick it off. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this build. And uh, so, so basically you start out on a beach with nothing. Hit tab to go into your inventory, which I don't have anything. Uh, all the crafting stuff. Uh, tab again to make that go away. Down here you have your hotbar, uh, which are number selects, number one, number two, etc. Uh, to start the game, you need to go ahead and equip your hammer and you get some stone or some cloth, run by and pick these up, pick up those bushes and get some cloth, we can make some clothes. Do that real quick as I'm making my way to the tree line to get some trees. Forty-nine. I need fifty cloth. It gave me forty-nine. Okay. Uh, go to clothes. We'll make some pants. And now we'll make for these trees. wood I'm gonna go ahead and get my blueprint which uh, this is what you use to construct buildings and things in the game I'll go ahead and equip my pants and we'll collect a little more wood I usually like the spots where there's pigs like where I spawned but it's a, a long way to water and so we might uh, might end up moving to another spot before I lay down a building and it's it's pretty slow to beat things with the hammer but at least you can collect the resources to build an axe and a we'll go over here and collect from the stone we'll crouch down with C and I'm just doing uh, left mouse button to activate the, the thing in my hand. And I think this one rock will give me enough that I can make a pick and uh, an axe. If that tree gave me enough wood. And now the autosave does keep popping on. Uh, I might end up reloading without the autosave just so that that screen doesn't keep popping. Alright, we'll go ahead and make a stone axe. And a stone pick. And I might need a couple more wood. So I better run up here and grab those. Grab that. And I'll go ahead and switch to that axe because that'll make the tree chopping way faster. making the pick. Good. Okay, so we're here on this part of the island. I think if we head off in this direction, uh, it'll get me to where I want to be. Oh, and I, I do have, just for my preference, I'm going to hit escape to get to the menu. Uh, I have the uh, 
pr post processing I usually set to low and that stops the blur uh, when you're moving around and uh, the foliage I have set to low right now uh, so there's nothing on the ground I'll go ahead and set it up I, I don't do it for performance I do it so I can see this the things on the ground uh, but here's here's what it looks like with the uh, the foliage turned on but it can hide things like uh, if pigs have died and they're laying on the ground uh, they can hide under the under the foliage and you, you don't see them uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set that back So, like, there's a piece of wood I can pick up. That's five. There's another one. It, uh, without the foliage, it makes it more obvious uh, the things that are laying out in the world. So, book it on over this way and see if I can't find the spot that I'm looking for. Where we have good access to food and uh, some access to water as well. You don't really have any bearings until you run around the map a little bit. There, There is a map on the M key uh, that shows you kind of where stuff is in, in a general sense, but it doesn't tell you where you are, so it's not overly helpful. Uh, sorry, my dog starts barking. Ah, oh, there's some pigs right there. Okay, this is the spot that I was looking for. I like to post up right here because right over in that direction is the pond, uh, which is a good water source. Uh, so I'll go ahead and chop, chop some trees here real quick. And we can throw together a, a shelter and start to settle in. And fortunately right now uh, in the game, it's uh, the, the build cost for, for things is, is really low. So uh, you harvest a couple of trees and you can build your whole structure pretty much. If you build slightly up the grade like this, it uh, gives you a nice elevated porch. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the blueprint with by selecting number three, then press and hold the F key to bring up a uh, structure list. And we'll go ahead and move forward and think right about there. Throw down some foundations. And that's pretty much the size I like to normally go with. Alright, so now we'll go with uh, put up some walls. Actually, on this, since uh, this is, we can go all windows. out a little bit farther. I'll put a door here. Alright, let's see if we can put more foundations out in the front. 